Hi, I am Dr. Himanshu Verma. I am a vascular surgeon in Gurgaon, India. And you are watching my patient information channel, Vascular Lecture. In first episode, I am going to explain you what is an angiogram or angiography. And the first part of this episode, I will start with explaining that why one should know it. Because of cardiovascular diseases, around 18 million people die globally every year. Many others who survive suffer from heart attacks, amputations and paralysis. Angiogram is a tool to actually look inside the blood vessel. Depending upon need, angiogram could be done of brain, heart, legs or similarly other organs. You might think, isn't it a job of a doctor to look at angiogram and give the treatment plan? Then why it is important to look at the angiogram yourself as well? Well, the first and simplest explanation to this is that when a doctor tells you, okay, there is a blockage and you can visually correlate the blockage, uh, the trust becomes stronger between you two. And in case you don't agree with the first doctor completely, you can always take second opinion with better understanding of disease. Second reason why I want you to have basic understanding of angiogram is a sad reality. As per reports published in prestigious journal of American Medical Association, roughly 50% of heart angioplasties in otherwise stable patients uh, were unnecessary. Now, if you think that it's just an American problem, I would say that unnecessary stenting is not a myth in India. Every single doctor wants the best for his or her patient. However, there is always a black sheep who will do unnecessary procedures and bring the shame to entire medical community. I always say that it's a fear of disease that kills the patient more than the disease itself. However, education about the disease, like in this case about the angiogram, helps to eradicate the fear of unknown. Also, it's important to understand that with this information, I don't want you to confuse yourself and irritate your doctor with uncoordinated bizarre questions. This is wrong. What I really want is to encourage a meaningful point-wise discussion with the doctor. Risks, benefit, costs and alternative of procedure, if any, should be discussed one by one. When your doctor is describing you an angiogram, apart from understanding that there is a blockage, you should also be able to understand whether the blockage is simple or the blockage is complex. Knowing complexity of blockage is essential to know because treating simple blockage is technically simple, it costs less, procedure risks are also less and sometimes medicine alone treatment is sufficient. On other side, treating complex blockages is technically difficult, it costs more Procedure related risks are also higher and often medicine alone treatment is not possible for these cases. Blockage is simple or complex also helps to choose better treatment between angioplasty versus bypass. Well, by now I think we all are convinced that we do need to understand basics of angiogram. So in second part, now we will cover how in the easiest way you could understand the details of angiogram.